Hi, first I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Habiba Mohammed Mohsen Ali Amber. I'm from Egypt. My ID number is EG6023. I'm 12 years old. I start robotics since April 2019. Then I'd like to share my learning experience. I learned many things from CoSpace. I gained new knowledge skills during the process of preparing to the competition as I know more about machine language and strategic planning. I learned the problem solving as I can define the problem, generate new ideas, implement and evaluate. The idea of artificial intelligence has been grown in my mind. I can turn a complex operation to a simple operation. The way to share knowledge on robotics and AI with others can be thinking together, sharing ideas, sharing problems and solve it together, watching matches and extract the strategy, talk about the errors and try to solve it. Go space is a rescue process, so I represent the robot is the emergency car and the objects are the injured, so the robot had to save the injured. The blue special zone look like a critical condition zone, and we collect RRDGBB to generate the super plus object, which is the critical condition, and the robot had to take it quickly to the deposit. The trap is the dangerous zone, so the robot had to be very careful when be close to it and avoid it correctly. The robot is like a human. I represent the ultrasonic sensors, the eye of the robot, that see the wall and avoid it. The color sensor is the hand that pick up objects. The wheel of the robot is the legs that walk and turn. The resources that helped me to understand and been interested to use. Studying flowchart that grew the idea of algorithm in my mind that helped me in problem solving. Watching matches and extract the strategies from them. Watching some videos with a small ideas, then I turn these small ideas to a main strategy. Making a presentation that explains my work. The most participants that I am interested in learning from SG5035, TW5093. I like the way of targeting squares and wall avoidance and the way of reaching deposit. Game and strategies. I participated in Recapco Space Rescue U12. My strategy to solve a certain task in my program is Collect two sign objects from the blue special zone. Collect two red objects from the position X0 and position Y1. Collect two black objects from position X0 and position Y2. Then reach the upper collection box to make depositing. At the last two minutes, the robot had to search for the super and super plus object. There is another way to do this strategy, which is Collect two sign objects from the blue special zone Collect two black objects from the position X0 and position Y1 Collect two red objects from position X2 and position Y1 Then turn left to reach the upper collection box to deposit First, 
The robot had to be directed to the blue special zone to collect two sign objects. After collecting them, the robot will turn to 180 degrees. And when touch the gray marker, the robot will turn to the right direction to reach position X0 and position Y1 to collect two red objects. After collecting them, the robot will turn to 0 degree to reach position X0 and position Y2 to collect two black objects. After collecting them, the robot will turn to 270 degrees to reach the deposit. After depositing, the robot will turn to the right direction and when touch the green marker, while the sign objects are smaller than two, the robot will turn to 180 degrees to reach the blue special zone again and the robot will resume making this loop for four minutes. At the last two minutes, the robot had to find super and super plus objects, which are generated by 15 cm by the wall, by making wall tracking using ultrasonic sensors. I use the line forward to reach the deposit. When the robot sees the green color by the right color sensor, the robot will increase the speed of the left color sensor. And when see the green line by the left color sensor, the robot will increase the speed of the right color sensor. The start point was set on the blue robot to be directed to the blue special zone, but due to playing the match with the red robot, it doesn't reach the blue special zone at the beginning of the match. Now, the robot is searching for two sign objects from the blue special zone. After collecting the two sign objects, the robot will turn to 180 degrees. When touching the gray line, the robot will turn to the right direction. The robot is searching for two red objects. The robot will never exit position X0 and position Y1 until collect the two red objects. After collecting them, the robot will turn to 0 degree to collect two black objects. After collecting the two black objects, the robot will turn to 270 degree to reach the deposit. After depositing, the robot will turn to 80 degree and when touching the green marker, the robot will turn to 180 degree to reach the blue special zone. The robot is searching for two sign objects. The robot will never exit the blue special zone until collect the two cyan objects. After collecting them, the robot will turn to 180 degree. When touching the gray line, the robot will turn to the right direction. The robot is searching for two red objects. The robot will never exit this position until collecting them. After collecting them, the robot will turn to zero degree. The robot is searching for two black objects. After collecting them, the robot will turn to 270 degree. When touching the green marker, the robot will turn a small turn to reach the deposit and deposit successfully. When see the green marker while the, the sign object are smaller than two, the robot will turn to 180 degree. Now, the robot is out of the blue area to search for the super and super plus object, which are generated by 15 cm by the wall.
The robot is depositing. The robot will not avoid the trap because the loaded objects are zero. I use divide and conquer algorithm. I work to divide the problem into subproblems, then find the solution for each subproblem to reach the, the solution of the main problem. There are two problems that encountered me, which are the first problem, when I use the key action, turn 2 degrees, the robot turn and stop moving until I relocated it. I solve it by making new variables that change when the robot turn by using compass. For example, after collecting RRDGBB with position X0 and position Y0, the robot had to turn to 270 degrees to reach the deposit. So, when the robot is in, in this position, while loaded objects are equal to 0 and turn variables is equal to 0, the key action will turn to 270 degrees. I write in the advanced action. When the compass is between 250 and 290, the turn variable will change to be equal 1, so the robot will exit position after turning, and it will not waste time in turning if the compass is already between 250 and 290. The second problem. When I want the robot to keep collecting objects from one place, the robot had to never exit this place until collect the objects. And here is the problem. When be out of the position, it turn, but during its turn, it stuck or keep in turn looping. I solve it by making more than one turn by using compass. So, every compass direction has a different turn. Finally, I would like to say thank thanks for my coach, Yusra Muhammad Anwar, for her encouragement, support, and interest. I would like to say thanks, Recap Academy, I Call Challenge, CoSpace Robot, RoboCup. I love CoSpace. I would like to say thanks. Recap Academy, iPhone Challenge, Go Space Robot, Robocop. I love Go Space.